Hello people, so I wanted to talk about Mandela effects today. I already did a video about the Mandela effects last year, so if you haven't seen that, then please do. I'm a huge believer of the Mandela effect. If you don't know what it is, Google it. I have seen loads of things that have changed, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about 10 more Mandela effects that I have discovered recently. Apologies if you heard these before, but I wanted to talk about them as well because, like I said, I believe in it, so yeah. Here we go. So the first two I want to talk about are both from the musical Annie. The first one is from the song Tomorrow. I remember the line as you're only a day away, but apparently now the line is you're always a day away. And that is kind of really weird to me because by singing that tomorrow is always a day away, it just, it's almost as if you're never gonna get there. You're never going to achieve your goal kind of thing. And it just seems very anti-productive and not right for that kind of song. So yeah, I remember it as you're only a day away, which sounds positive and you're looking forward to the future and good things are yet to come and not only does it make more sense but that is how I remember the line. The second song from Annie that I believe has changed is from It's A Hard Knock Life or should I say It's The Hard Knock Life which it apparently is now. This is one of those songs I've heard all of my life. I've seen Annie a few times, I've heard that song being played loads of times and yeah I remember it it's a hard knock life, not the. It's just really weird when you get lyrics you've heard like your entire life. Yeah, sometimes you hear them wrong and then you realize later on, oh, it was that the whole time. Because like with this song, I used to think it was a hard nut life and not knock. And I only realized recently it was knock. But they are the times when the lyrics don't make sense beforehand and then they make sense when you actually hear them correctly. But it's times when the lyrics sound right and should be right end up being different. It just, it's just weird. The third Mandela effect I want to talk about concerns Mickey Mouse. I've heard of this one for quite a while but again I want to talk about it. Mickey Mouse no longer has suspenders. I distinctly remember Mickey Mouse having suspenders and yet now he doesn't and this is a character I've watched cartoons of for most of my life. So you'd think that I and many other people who believe this change would not get something like that wrong. And the other thing concerning Mickey Mouse is the fact that he now has a tail and I don't really remember him having a tail. I mean, it makes sense because he's a mouse. Like I said, I don't remember him having a tail. It's like the whole Curious George thing, isn't it? Curious George used to have a tail, but now he doesn't. Mickey Mouse never had a tail, now he does. Did Mickey Mouse take George's tail? Okay, so the fourth Mandela effect is something I'm absolutely positively sure has changed. This is the lyric to a Panic at the Disco song, I Write Sins Not Tragedies. It's a very, very well-known song. It's probably the most popular song. Like, you don't even have to be into Panic at the Disco to know this song. And the lyric, how I remember it is, I chimed in with a haven't you people ever heard of, closing the goddamn door. Closing the goddamn door. But now apparently it's closing a goddamn door. And you know what? There is actual evidence to back this change up. Someone had tweeted the lead singer of Panic at the Disco, Brendan Urey, asking him to explain this change and he tweeted her back saying, I can't, that is some Berenstein slash Berenstain shit right there. The actual person who wrote the lyrics to the song and sings the song a million times, even he knows it has changed. It is closing the goddamn door. Yeah, that's the biggest one for me on this list. I think. Number five is one of those quotes where I wasn't around for the original. I don't ever remember actually seeing the original, but it's something that had been quoted over and over again. And that is a famous quote from Sally Field when she was accepted an award. I remember it as, you like me, you really like me, but apparently the entire time she said, you like me, right now you like me. This is also one of those quotes that is repeated in other forms of media like TV shows, comedy, sketches and all this stuff. And every time I've heard this quote, it has always been, you like me, you really like me. But no, apparently it's, you like me, right now, you like me. Again, sounds weird, doesn't sound right, and I think it's changed. Number six also comes from a song, but it's not a changed lyric. It is simply a lyric not being there in the first place. I admit I'm not 100% sure about this, and that is from the song, We Are The 
Champions by Queen. It's right at the end of the song, the last lyric of the song, We Are The Champions. So many people, including myself, then remember him singing of the world. That of the world part is no longer there. It could just be the fact that in one version it's there and another version it's not. But when I heard about this Mandela effect, I watched the music video of this song and there were so many people commenting, of the world, where is of the world? The ending is different, Mandela effect, ah. So obviously this is a thing that a lot of people remember differently. And yeah, when I listened to the song, it sounded weird. It sounded like the of the world part should have been there so it must be a thing number seven is also a slight change to a lyric to a song but it is again a song that i've heard and sang along to for most of my life and that is barbie girl by aqua i remember the line being i'm a barbie girl in a barbie world but apparently it's I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. Just like every other song on this list, I listened to the song on YouTube and yes, I noticed the difference. Number eight is from a really old short film, cartoon, whatever it is. It's from The Three Little Pigs. And what is the wolf's most famous line? Say it with me. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, right? That's how I remember it. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Makes sense, doesn't it? But no, apparently it's now. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. I watched this cartoon on YouTube very nostalgically because I very faintly remember watching it as a child. And yeah, he says, I'll blow your house in. But I am so sure, so sure it was blow your house down. And how can you blow a house in? It's times like these when you really question your memory. Number nine is from the cartoon, The Fairy Odd Parents, but specifically from the title itself. I used to watch this cartoon all the time when I was younger, and to me, I don't remember odd parents being one word. I remember fairly odd parents, and that is the Mandela effect. Like, I know it's a play on word for godparents because they are technically kind of his fairy godparents but yeah not a lot of people remember it being just one word they remember fairly odd parents another one for me and i don't know if this is just me or if other people believe this as well but i don't remember the the at the beginning i just remember it being fairly odd parents i don't remember it being the fairly odd parents that just sounds a bit weird to me the the at the beginning but again that just might be me and finally the 10th mandala effect i want to mention is from pokemon and it concerns pikachu being the most popular pokemon it's the mascot of the tv series it's the most recognizable pokemon probably in the world the mandala effect is that people remember pikachu having a black tip on its tail this one is interesting to me because seeing a picture of Pikachu with a black tip on its tail it looks really familiar to me it kind of rings a bell but also it looks weird it doesn't look right I remember when I was really younger having this really big A3 card coloring thing I don't know what to call it and all the outlines were in like black felt and I used to love coloring these in because of the black tip outlines it meant you could never go out of the line and I had one with Ash and Pikachu running I really really vividly remember this and coloring it in and I am pretty sure there was a tip on Pikachu's tail and I remember coloring it in but it's not something I remembered until hearing about this change. So yeah, that one I'm not 100% sure on, but like I said, seeing Pikachu with a black tail, it seems really familiar to me, but it also seems kind of wrong. So just like every other Mandela effect on this list, I'm gonna leave it to you guys watching this video if you remember any of these changes. So yeah, there are 10 more Mandela effects, things that I believe have changed in the world. Please give me a comment down below if you believe in any of these changes or if you know of any more Mandela effects. I really, really love researching the Mandela effect. Still, the biggest one for me right now is Looney Tunes. Like that one, I am so adamant has changed. I, I remember it being Looney Tunes. 
and also closing the goddamn door because I love that song. So yeah, please give me a comment down below of any other Mandela effects that you've heard of. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because that would be awesome. Subscribe to my channel, I make two videos a week about all different kinds of things and I will see you next time.